everyone, my name is Sue Elving and in today's video I'm going to show you how you turn this quad into a self-driving quad which can drive over public roads like these. This works using AI and computer vision with a camera mounted right here and a computer which processes it all right here on the back. So let's get started. So this is going to be a project divided in three videos. The first video is about how I created the quad itself, the chassis, the hardware, the electronics and stuff. In the second video I'm going to show you how I created the AI and computer vision system to drive, to detect and drive the quad in the center of the road. And in the third video I'm going to show you some demo videos of the quads actually working. So let's get started. This project is actually a follow-up of another project I did on my YouTube channel a while back. You can find the link to the video right here. The squad worked and all, but it wasn't really perfect because it used cheap infrared sensors to detect the lines. And it also used a very bad um, ultrasonic sensor to detect people in front of it, which wasn't really reliable. It even hit myself a couple of times. So. What I wanted to do was instead of using these sensors, I wanted to use an Xbox Kinect camera which uh, will use advanced computer vision and AI techniques to detect the road and make the quad drive over it. I also wanted to improve the steering system because it used a system with uh, two sprockets and a chain, but the chain kept flying off and it also wasn't really accurate. I first started with the hardware. As you can see, the quad was in a quite rough state. A lot of sensors were hanging loose and it was also quite dirty. So I started with giving it a nice cleanup and removing all the sensors and all the wires and stuff that we don't need. After that, I started with the steering system. I first removed the entire system and then I welded it back on but now with much stronger weld so that there wouldn't be any play inside it. I also welded on a steering sensor, which is actually just a potentiometer. This steering sensor will help me later on in the project to know what the current angle of the steering is, so that I can make a, a steering controller. Here you can see what I already achieved that night. You can see that everything is welded on really securely, and I also put on the Xbox Kinect camera, which you can see right there. My first plan was to use a Raspberry Pi computer as the main computer for the computer vision system. But I quickly noticed that this wasn't powerful enough. So then I needed to go to the big boys. I got this very large uh, desktop computer with a GTX 1080 inside it and also an i7 processor which will definitely be strong enough for a system. The only problem though is that the desktop computer needs 220 volts and this quad only has a battery of 36 volts. So I needed to find a solution. It is really difficult to get 220 volts from only 36 volts. So what I eventually decided to do, which is not a perfect solution, but the best I could come up with with a low budget, is to use a gas generator to generate at a 220 volt electricity from gasoline. As you can see, the parts were quite big and they wouldn't just fit on the quad. I also wanted to be able to sit on the quad because this is needed later for training, so I couldn't put that on the seat. So what I decided to do was to create a new platform on the back of the quad where these can both sit, which you can see me building right now. On the platform I mounted the gas generator and the computer using some zip ties which is definitely strong enough. I also added a stop button. One other thing I also had to do was add some new batteries because the batteries that were inside it were already pretty old. As you can see the voltage was too low. So here there were some new batteries which cost me actually 90 euros. At this point I also decided to relocate the steering sensor. I actually put the steering sensor on the steering motor, but I actually want the steering sensor to measure the current angle of the steering system itself, not from the motor. So I relocated it to the steering itself. 
Well, I well that the new steering sensor, I actually put the entire quad on fire. Unfortunately, it wasn't too much damage. Only one or two connections were a bit burned, but it was easily fixed. Here you can see nicely how everything will fit together. You can see the gas generator, the computer, the platform and the entire quad. I also put on the Xbox Kinect camera and you can see that I put a sponge in between because the gas generator generates a lot of vibrations which can mess with the computer vision system because the camera will be shaking a lot. After the hardware was finished, it was time to start with the electronics. I actually made a diagram showing all the different parts of the system, which you can see right here. I started with soldering all the necessary cables to all the necessary places. I also soldered on the H-bridge driver for the steering motor. Notice that this is a MOSFET based driver, which will make me able to increment or decrement the speed in both directions which will give me more precise steering control. I also laid and soldered all of the necessary sensors with cables to the Arduino Nano. I used for this old Ethernet cables which are perfect for the job. Here you can see an overview of the entire hardware system. Here is the Xbox Kinect camera. Here is the DC steering motor. Here is the steering angle sensor. Here is the Arduino Nano. Here is the cast generator, here is the main Linux PC, and here is a router for live telemetry. Also notice that I put on a new cast generator. This is because the old generator wasn't strong enough for this powerful PC. After the electronics were finished, it was time to start with the embedded hardware. For, this wasn't too difficult because I'm using standard Firmata, which is an already existing USB protocol to make any Arduino work with any programming language and there's also a library for it for Python. Here you can see a small program where I can rotate the two different sensors which are the throttle sensor and steering sensor and that it displays those values inside the terminal using Python. I also wrote a small test script in Python to move the steering motor but as you can see there is a lot of slack in the chain still and it wasn't working quite well. It wasn't working quite well because not everything was lined out perfectly. Here you can see that I lined out the uh, steering shaft with the angle of the sprocket. I also centered the two sprockets together and I also made sure that the two sprockets were at the same angle. This made sure that the steering system didn't have a lot of play in the chain anymore and as you can see here the steering system now works really well and also you can see here that the throttle system is also working. So finally the hardware is finished. We have made all the mechanical connections for example the steering system and we also have written code to read out different sensors and to move different actuators. Now we can continue at part 2 of this video series where I'm going to show you how I created a road detection system using an end-to-end -end drive model using AI behavioral cloning which clones actually my driving behavior and will try to drive like me over the real roads at my house. Here you can already see a small sneak peek of it working. If you're interested in how this works, then subscribe to my channel so you won't miss this video coming out next week. I see you later.